Got it. You got a golden feather. Keep it in your spoils bag. A certain strangeness emanates from the quill of this beautifully shining golden feather. Winged girls are said to be infatuated with these treasures. A darn sure ride. I can get me a winged bride. And Link continues sidling across that thing that has been going for God knows how long. It is hot, and he's still touching it. All right, continuing up here. I know we're not supposed to sidle. We're supposed to shimmy, 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 shimmy. Oh God. Okay, that was weird. Probably just gonna edit, not set this up to edit overnight and then render it all. Well, not render it all, but like have it render overnight the one ten minute episode, and then render the rest like tomorrow or whatever. Okay, I didn't think that through. I thought I had a lot more time. Man, I can't wait for us to actually get bombs. Because everybody knows in the Zelda game that you get bombs. And here's something cool that you can do. You walk back, good bet, and jump. Okay, you're supposed to land on top. I didn't hold that for momentum. Alright, we're in a new room. Progressing through this dungeon. Decent pace. Don't pull all these out all the way. Just pull them out halfway. You could get something out of this. Yep. A little puzzle sort of thing for rupees. And just follow it. But since I already have 200 rupees, it's uh, pretty much useless right now. It's, even if you get an upgrade to the wall, it, it doesn't really help you in any way. And you can't get those normally. Well, you can get rupees normally, but, like, you can't. I can't pull that out unless there's, like, a full platform. You can't, um, even if you get a wallet upgrade, it's not going to help you. Because of the fact that the, um, uh, it's not gonna like transfer over or whatever. So like all the extra rupees are just like spill into your new wallet. That'd be kind of cool though. I didn't hear those fucking rats I was talking about earlier. Actually, um, I think this is a thing. I don't think they sell you back bait. I think they give you something else. It also helps that the rats don't like mess with you. Yeah, you can get a potion. Yeah, and it fills it up in your bottle. Yeah, you got some red potion, so it's Y, X, or Z, and uses it to replenish your life energy. You can keep it in your bottle. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I don't know what the blue potion does. I think that one's magic. And we got a pirate charm message. Hey. Bruce, have you seen any filthy thieving rats around? Well, I was just talking one, actually. I know they are annoying, but keep your wits about you. They're only rats. If you spread bait near their nest, they might share some of the... I, I just did that. Somebody's calling the house. Is somebody gonna pick it up? Nobody's gonna pick it up. Do I have to go pick that up? I honestly don't want to. One more? No? Nope. Alright, sweet. My mom picked it up. Uh, it's only 10.37. I don't know why. I hate when people call the house late. It pisses me off. To no Even when I'm not recording. It just pisses me off to no end. It's like, can you go out and do something? I mean, please. I'm supposed to be the one with no life. Who just sits around and records everything. Even though I only have 700 and something odd numbered videos 740 something uploaded right now um majority are scheduled and i still have to render walking dead episode four god damn it a new se season two episode three just came out uh yesterday um so i don't really i'm not gonna watch that from anybody that i'm subscribed to because you know spoilers when i play it um you got a compass now you can see where things are hidden in the dungeon press up Fuck that. That's a lot of work. Oh, that's right. There's a chest over here. Well, you come down this ladder right here where you got the, the stick thrown at it. Open it up. You get yourself a small key. Yep, it's a small key. Use it open locked doors. You can only use it in this dungeon. I still actually have to edit that G mod. You know, I have quite a bit to do. It is not hard being a YouTuber. Or it's not easy being a YouTuber, I should say. And we got some broken steps and flowers. And we hear another one of those fucking buzzard things, just like choking it itself. Yeah. How's it feel? 
key, get a small key. Use it, open locked doors. You're gonna use it in this dungeon again. You dick, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't want you nasty, even golden feather anyway. Piece of shit. Alright, we're making our way up the mountain. This far, spooky is a young one. Right here. Mainly because I was like Batman. Oh, look at all the keys. Look at all the keys. Look at all the keys. Just keep running. Just keep running. Okay. Okay, I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm about to. Ah! 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 Yeah! Yeah, bitch. Okay, so we're gonna have to come back. Come back, like this. That opens door. That opens a door. Which is also known as the exit. And small key. Or like a joey pendant or something. Joey pendant. Keep it in your spoil bag. How many do you I have now? Like four or five? I think I have four or five. Let me check. Four. Alright. Another area where we have to come back later, I think. Uh, if I remember this dungeon correctly. We got one of these rooms, which I call monster rooms, where we gotta defeat all the enemies in this room before um, we could go into the next area. So these guys are hidden in pots like a bunch of douches. What? Are you serious? Can I... Can you... What are we doing? We're like dancing over here. What is he doing? Are you... He's like trying to glitch through the pole. Please. Alright, get out of here, you nasty. Another joy pendant. Pretty cool. And also, um. Uh, the compass will tell you whenever there's a secret chest. So you can see there's a chest here, but it's not showing up. You. Gotta do something stupid like light both of these torches, and I believe it's a C chart. I'm calling it if it's a C chart. Gotta do something stupid like light those torches, and you open up your secret chat. Open up your secret box, and it's a treasure chart. Same thing. Open it out to C and check this on your map after viewing the chart with Y and opening up. Spot will go. Go get your treasure, man. Then you can get the treasure. Yeah, and you can find bottles in the Great Sea, even though I think you can only get, uh, you can only get four bottles. Two of them I think you get normally, like main story, and then the other two you get at the Great Sea. Out at sea. From, like, those treasure barred things that I was talking about before. And then the last guy's in here. No, it's a joy pendant. So then where the fuck? There he is. Wanna let me up here? Friend. Just let me. Ouch. Douche. What do you drop? Joy pendant? Are you all gonna drop a joy pendant? No, you drop a ruby because you're a cheap motherfucker. Brilliant. Yeah. Alright, let's climb up here. I'm, not, I'm probably just gonna take my time with this playthrough. I'm not gonna, you know, like do anything like fancy or anything. Ah, oh, new enemy, worm fuckers. I'm just gonna call them that because the guidebook is not next to me right now. Careful, because if you get in that lava. Oh! Oh, I glitched it! I fucking glitched it! Oh, okay. I was. I thought I was gonna land in the lava before when I like fucking stood on it with the platform. But technically, I'm assuming the platform is still there. So, you know, this this part is annoying itself. We're just doing this. Do that. Okay, and kill him. Hopefully, you can. Uh, not hard to kill. 
But you're gonna wanna race back. Fuck me. I have to. Okay, I can do this. I know I can. There we go. I'm only like 40 minutes into the recording. <laughs>